All right, I'll cover this just because it's fun. This is just like a fun... Not a cousin, just a fact when you should, I should try burps in a jar. I mean, I'm down. You open up the jar and then you go... Uh, that's going to be what's going to happen. Just kidding. No burp. It's anthrax. You're dead now. Also, uh, let's talk about food. So here's an article uh, from Eat This, Not That. The number one best fast food order for weight loss, says dietitian. You can still eat fast food and lose weight if you make this your go-to order. Okay. I'll listen. Fast food isn't on the top of people's go-to meal list when they are trying to lose weight, and rightfully so. Unfortunately, eating at fast food restaurants is associated with higher fat and lower vegetable intakes among certain populations, possibly leaving people at an increased risk of experiencing nutritional gaps and eating more empty calories. Again, y'all, 95% of Americans do not eat fiber. They do not reach the minimum daily recommended of the fiber range. They do not reach the minimum. So there's a range, right? There's the minimum and then the maximum. Personally, I think the maximum is, well, you know, it's like, it's not, it's not a maximum. It's not like you're going to eat more and you die, right? But it's like, they don't hit the minimum of the daily recommended rate. That's crazy, 95%. Two contributors to weight gain. Plus, fast food tends to be a major contributor to excessive saturated fat intake, which can wreak havoc on weight loss plans as well. Um, so people asked about fiber, and here we go. We're talking about fiber. Despite the health concerns, over a third of American adults eat fast food on a given day, thanks to food being served quickly and the convenience factor. Again, um, I could talk a lot about fast food. So why do you think uh, fast food is so popular and cheap? It's because they're heavily subsidized by the government. The government pays these fast food companies uh, via subsidies uh, to poison Americans and also quickly give them their garbage so that they can afford, they have enough time uh, to get a second job. If you have to cook at home, you can't afford a second job. But with fast food, here you go. Now capitalism, baby. Get two jobs, get three jobs. We're not going to increase the minimum wage. Fuck that shit. Also, by the way, we're going to kill you before the age of 65. We're going to make it so that you're in the pocket of the big health insurance industries. Uh, health insurance loves fast food. This is such an incestuous relationship. Health insurance and fast food companies, they love each other. They're jerking each other off all day. That's right. You go to McDonald's, you get poisoned, you go to your second job, you fucking work for the labor, uh, you know, you spend all of your labor, giving it to the capitalist, then you get home, then boom, you have a heart attack. You go to the hospital, what? Now you have to pay $5,000 on a deductible and a premium. Boom. Now you're out of the hospital. You got You lost your second job and your first job now you got to find three jobs by the way also you don't have that much money and also you don't have anything to cook at home with so now you're going back to the fast food you have another heart again this is the cycle we're all looping we're all on the fucking we're all on the fucking tr like track the hamster wheel motherfucker we're all fucked and we're all dying this country is garbage it is set up like shit it teaches americans to kill themselves it incentivizes americans to kill themselves and so again fast food is garbage don't eat fast food but if you do eat fast food Check these out. So, a Subway Veggie Delight is balanced, is a balanced sandwich with fresh veggies. Uh, now, again, I don't know. Like, fast food and Subway, they don't really mix to me. Like, Subway, like, I don't know. Maybe, I guess it's fast food, but, like, you know, you have to, like, watch them make it. I mean, like, I don't know. It's not, it's, fast food to me is, like, we're, like, it's already ready or whatever. But, okay, maybe Subway's fast food. Okay, I'll listen to it. Um, I'm very skeptical of Subway bread. But, you know, all right, a delicious, as most fast food sandwiches are, they're lacking when it comes to including fresh vegetables and high-quality protein choices. Many choices contain fatty and salty sauces that can clock in at over 1,000 calories per serving. Of course, Subway doesn't do that, right? No, of course they do. Uh, ordering a Subway Veggie Delight sandwich can fuel your body with tons of veggies with no processed meats or unhealthy condiments. Uh, ordering the sandwich on a 6-inch hearty multigrain roll will provide a whopping 7 grams of fiber per serving. How many servings are there? Also, 7 grams of fiber per serving. That's not whopping. I'm sorry. Um, but also, what the fuck's the serving? I would say, like, whopping would be maybe 15 grams of serving. 7 is good, but I don't know. Whopping, okay. Helping to give this sandwich some serious staying power as possibly assisting people to avoid hunger pangs as shortly after eating. For the fillings, uh, opting for fresh tomatoes, spinach, green peppers, and red onions will help people meet their veggies quota for the day. No. Seven grams of fiber is not... This is a nutritionist saying this, apparently. Seven grams of fiber? Yeah, sure. The daily recommended range is somewhere around 28 to 30. But... 
you know, 7. 28 to like 36. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, have you tried 7? Now, again, most Americans don't reach the minimum of that threshold. Most Americans probably are closer to zero grams of fiber per day because most Americans don't know how to feed themselves because this country, uh, you know, again, raises people and teaches them to be stupid and uh, and uneducated and, and not have life skills. Uh, like balancing a budget, you don't learn how to balance a budget in school. Why? That way you can go into debt and lose all your money and then give all your money to the capitalists, right? You know, you don't want to know that. Um, so again, seven grams of fiber per day. I don't know about that, but probably also significantly better than most Americans. So for the filling, okay, the a drizzle of oil and vinegar, along with a sprinkle of black pepper, will elevate this sandwich even more. And in minutes, you have a gourmet-tasting main dish. No, I'm sorry. I don't know. I, I disagree. Veggie Delight salad is a weight loss-friendly uh, recipe. So again, skipping the bun. Okay, I'm down with that. Um, as your side dish, instead of opting for fried chips or a cookie, Veggie Delight salad. Oh, okay. So this is just a side dish. Uh, we'll set you back only 50 calories. Again, I just want to say calories. I think calories are really problematic. In my opinion, we need to abolish calories. I think calories as a unit of measurement. I think people, um, for the most part, when they think of dieting or weight loss, they think about calories. Calories are the worst way to think about weight loss because it's all about counting calories. Counting, oh, I'm counting my calories and calories are not the same. Drinking a can of Coca-Cola is not the same as eating like a fucking protein bar. They are not equivalent. They are not the same. Oh, they have the same amount of calories. Calories are irrelevant. It's about nutrition. Fuck calories. If you're eating 6,000 calories a day, but it's all salad, guess what? You're going to be a lot healthier than someone eating 3,000 calories a day, but it's all fast food. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, eating 3,000 calories a day of Twizzlers versus eating 6,000 calories a day of salad, you're going to be having a different body. One's going to be healthier than the other. Yes, calories are a metric, but the idea that, you know, I just, I think the idea that people view them as the only metric is silly, is painful, is disgusting. And again, uh, weight loss uh, culture in this country is garbage and it abuses people's lack of knowledge. People hear the term calories, they know what that means, and then they count calories and then become anorexic. Hey, I'm, I'm speaking from experience here. Uh, I, you know, I would say the most important things to look at are fiber. If you are meeting the daily recommended minimum of fiber, chances are you're, de you're hitting your other, you know, again, foods that are high in fiber, also good on protein, also good on vitamins, also good on fats, typically typically like look at beans for example beans have high fiber high protein uh you know look at uh you know collard greens like spinach for example very nice one high fiber high vitamin ratios you know very nutritious right so i'm just saying if you're if you're going to focus on one stat and only one stat i would say focus on fiber you're going to get a lot more information if you're hitting 25 to 30 grams of fiber a day or something you're going to have a lot better uh, of a diet than if you're just counting calories i would say count fiber that's my opinion skip the cheese edition and add a bit of oil and vinegar as a dressing and you will be well on your way uh to a, i don't know about the oil by the way does subway have good oil what oil uh, do they have? I don't know. Like, is it uh, like extra virgin olive oil? Probably not. Real on end posting cringe in the chat. Beans are not high protein. Are you fucking stupid? Are you like the dumbest motherfucker alive? Beans are one of the best like protein dense foods that has one of the best proteins and fiber ratio out of any food. It's like literally top 10, top five, even probably even number one. So you are a dumb motherfucker. Beans have a lot of protein. Anyway, 100% juice offers sweetness with no added sugar. Or just skip the juice. What the fuck? Instead of sipping on soda or lemonade with added sugars, ask for a 16-ounce bottle of Simply Orange or orange juice. What the fuck? What the fuck? No, no, no. Skip the juice. I'm sorry. How about just drink water? Diet soda, honestly. I'd rather have diet soda than fucking, oh, Simply Orange. Fuck juice. Juice sucks. Fast food options with fresh veggies and loads of nutrients. Yes, you want veggies. Anyway, this article's okay. It's actually not that good. Um, and uh, But anyway, uh, this allowed me to talk about fast food. Um, and I'm talking about fast food and here we go. So bada boom and there we go.